Hey everybody, welcome back. TGIF, baby, it's 8, 16 a.m. on a Friday. Let's do a randomizer. That is regular Keeper the Beast. Okay, that, you look, here's the thing, okay? I think it's regular Keeper. What, what does Tainted Keeper look like? Ah, oh, so... <laughs> Hey, you can't be mad. I told you it was early. Let's just see what we're missing. Okay, I, I don't mind losing a, a streak of three. I mean, that's like, I mean, come on. That's only like the third largest streak I've ever had. Uh, I, I Never mind. Apparently, we're on a streak of one. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Keeper to the beast. And I got to remember just what the heck I'm doing, okay? Because, you know, there's so many different... Endings is it's like a, it's like a Silent Hill game. I'm just waiting to see the the dog that's actually controlling uh, all the levers and stuff like that. And if we're going to the beast, we're going true ending, which means we need the fool card, and we also need uh, or could at least it, it might actually be advisable to to leave a trinket behind if possible, because uh, a, an extra life actually seems like that much more valuable. Uh, as the keeper, where things are going to be a, a little tougher for us unless we get like a, a, a nun's habit or a, a swallowed penny or something along those lines. But for now, we're kind of, we're, we're kind of, you know, I mean, the, the modern keeper, life has changed, you know? Everybody gets a participation trophy these days. It's, it's the political issue that I, I feel strongest about. We're giving away so many dang trophies these days. My kids don't want to even mow the lawn anymore unless they get a trophy. Hey, come on! Something, 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 grass monoculture, something, 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 Scott's Lawn Care. And then the the audience roars um, uproariously, I guess is the most viable word there. You know what's weird about uh, stand-up comedy specials? Why is it, I would say like... I don't know what era we're in for comedy, okay? Like, I, I, I guess I don't watch enough of it or as, as much as I used to. Because back in the day, you used to, you know, you watch Just for Laughs. It, it, at least it, in Canada, they had Just for Laughs on the TV all the time. If you happen to, you know, have Comedy Central, you, you'd check out some classic specials on that. If you had HBO, you'd see it from time to time. I feel like, you know, the 90s were like... A little, a little edgy, a little boomer humor. The 2000s were uh, hyper erudite, anti George W. Bush style comedy, uh, and now I feel like every time, and and there's some stand-up comedians I really like, you know, Tom Segura, John Mulaney. Um, hold on, take me down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mike Birbiglia. We're getting a little bit back in the historical record now. I really liked Michelle Wolf's uh, special from like three or four years ago now. But anyway, um, I know NL. How'd you feel about Nanette? I I think Nanette is uh, it was not for me. Let's put it that way. It was one, and I don't mean it in a bad way. I was just like when I was watching, I was like, I I don't see the transcendental aspect of this, but I can I can respect where it's coming from. But I feel like we're on Netflix right now. We're in uh, an an era. Oh, come on, man. Where, like, every stand-up comedy special I see is, like, a guy who looks like me but 10 years older looking like, what? Like, he can't believe the state of the world today. And then it's called, like, excuse me? Or, like, can you believe it? Or she actually said that. Like, that's the they're all named something, like, just aghast at the state of the world. Which I, I can't deny is also in, uh oh what the heck? In some ways, I suppose, is also my brand. But maybe that's why I'm so cheesed off about it, man. Because I'm like, hey, come on. That's supposed to be my deal. Uh, so when you already have triple shot, I'm not totally sure it's advisable to go ahead and give yourself a quad shot on top of that. Our, our rate of fire is 0 0.44, repeating, of course. I did it all for the one key. So you can take that one key and use it on your shop. Well, actually, now that I think about it, we won't be 
using it on our shop at all because uh, <laughs> we got store keys still. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think we're in a bad era for comedy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, great, great, great combat here. Um, do you see what I see? Swallowed Penny? This would be a tragic way for this uh, video to end. If we didn't have the chance to get Swallowed Penny first, because that's incredible. Let me just see what we got here. Hold on. I was just going to say, if you can manage to get one of these, you might as well then take Caffeine Pill. Swallowed Penny is like a game-winning trinket. I also, I, I mean, I know I talked about it, but I, I very much enjoyed Bo Burnham's inside. I think we're living in a golden era for that, <clears throat> where, like, it was very highly rated, don't get me wrong. But when people were, like, they, they wouldn't shut up about it, it only lasted, like, two weeks. You know? I, I think that we were spared from the, the worst of the backlash to the backlash to the back... You know when you get into the cyclical situation? Like, the Star Wars, we, we talk about it all the time now. But I feel like Star Wars The Last Jedi is still... Like, be, because of all the conversations about it, it generates, like, a whirlpool uh, that, that to this day has not yet ceased. Like, once every four days... The Last Jedi trends on Twitter, and then you find yourself, you know, reading some comments from people that are like, I've never stopped, this is the, I'm a single issue voter. If if the president says that he likes The Last Jedi, he's not my guy, you know? And you're just like, man, it's gotta, but that's what, when something becomes so popular that it generates, uh, you know, a lot of conversation. You get the original opinions, the opinions of the original opinions, the opinions of the people who have opinions about the original opinions, and so on and so forth. Hey, forget the pill, though. Um, and I think that uh, we, we got blessed that it seemed like that burned itself out really quickly. So I find myself merely still appreciating inside as opposed to uh, having to deal with uh, endless arguments about whether or not it's uh, transcendental or pretentious or both simultaneously. Okay. Um, I think it's a weird choice, right? Because... On the one hand, you're like, if I bring the coupon, I get free deals with the devil. But on the other hand, I'm paying like 15 cents for the coupon. Shouldn't have taken that yet. Uh, so is it really a free de uh, devil deal? Also, peace sells, but who's buying? You know what I mean? Many people are saying this. I don't know what this is. Uh, I... It does give us an M if we uh, if we pick it up. Can I tell you, you know, fool me seven hundred times, shame on me. I think at this point, I I don't think I can I can take it because I I mean I think there's a very realistic chance it could just completely ruin our run. <laughs> does that sound realistic? Seems realistic to me. So I'm gonna use a, a bomb here. I I don't know. I mean, again, fifteen cents to get a free deal with the devil. I'm I'm not sold. I think I'd rather have a choice. Although I do think that deals with the devil can be a little bit more expensive. Um, I think I, I think the good deals are priced at like 30 or something. I'll tell you, like I'm I'm not sweating our damage potential too much. But I am definitely feeling like if we don't get a rate of fire uh, increase. Like, it's, it's actually okay right now, but if we don't get a rate of fire increase soon, we're going to be in a, a pretty tight spot. Um, I think you can afford to pay 15 cents for Guppy's Eye. And you might be saying NL. This this helps us, by the way. It actually does generate coins. Not on the ground, but, you know, in, in, the, <clears throat> in the coin deck. If you'll excuse me, let me caffeinate here. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, okay, um, I, I, we need a rate of fire increase. You, oh, you might be saying NL, but at this point, if you had just taken the coupon, the coupon would have paid for itself. Um, and that is, uh, true, but I really also don't want to just give up on the wooden nickel, which is not only something that we consider pretty important for keeper survival, 
in a lot of situations. It's also something that uh, can, can generate quite a lot of money for us over time. I think people, you know, I, they look at this item to some extent like it's as bad as the poop. And that is not the case. So we're like pretty set here, right? Am I am I crazy? With Swallowed Penny, it's like free eddy rooms as the day is long. Ah, that one didn't give us anything. <laughs> okay, well let's just get our money back. Anyway, that's my thoughts on comedy in Star Wars The Last Jedi. I've been watching the scary movie films, uh, and I, I don't know if this is a sign of like a, a it's a man in crisis or something like that, right? I'm on Netflix. I should be using with nickel. People are 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 begging me to watch, you know, something critically acclaimed and something we could talk around at the water cooler, talk about at the water cooler, like Neon Genesis Evangelion. And instead, I'm like, oh, you know what I haven't seen in a while? All of the scary movie movies. So I, I finished the first one. I'm almost done the second one. I don't know if you've he heard of these movies. They're uh, in some ways a laugh riot, in other ways not so much. <laughs> What's my point? My my point, uh, I guess, is... Uh, I mean, I really want to go on like an academic uh, dissertation, almost. An aside about... Uh, about Scary Movie 2. As a, a, a young, you know, maybe ninth grader, eighth grader when Scary Movie 2 came out, I was, uh, I, I thought it was quite funny. I thought it was a pretty humorous movie. Well, look at that. Okay, we're not, I'm not gonna worry about messing with the trinket all that much. This is... I thought this was our bomb wave, but okay, next wave is our bomb wave. So we will. Make sure you're holding Swallowed Penny. Step on this. You don't have to leave the room. We, we want to get two more plays out of this, basically. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say I thought it was like the funniest movie I'd ever seen in my life up to that point, but I was definitely having a good time watching it at the movie theater. Or at the at, at home on DVD. On um, we used to before my family had a, a DVD player. The only DVD drive uh, that we had in our house was in my room, uh, where my computer had a DVD drive. So we used to pile into my childhood bedroom and then just sit on the end of the bed and watch Scary Movie too. Great, great wholesome memories of uh, life growing up. I thank you, and. Uh, I gotta tell you, as an adult, I'm not sure it holds up as much. I I don't know if you've watched it recently. I'm pretty sure Scary Movie 2 has literally no plot. And I know what you're thinking. It's That's not what the kind of movie it is. Yeah, but it has... Uh, I would like to leave. It, it has no plot. I don't mean like it has a, 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 a thin plot. I mean it is literally just... You know, joke into joke into non sequitur into joke into joke into parody of a Nike commercial. Uh, out of out of nowhere, David Cross is performing an act of uh, auto fellatio. Like it just, it, it it's just uh, it, it's haphazard. They they I, I feel like in Scary Movie Two they just gave up. Also, it, it's it's very remarkable. I couldn't. Well, I didn't really take a look, honestly. But Scary Movie 2 stars uh, 90210 Beverly Hills star, uh, Tori Spelling. Something must have happened during the production. It's maybe one of the only movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, but Tori Spelling does not interact <clears throat> with any other actors or actresses in the entire film. Which you got to imagine something... Like, it's like they had her, it's like a geezer teaser, you know? One of those Bruce Willis movies where he's in it for like eight minutes. She must have shot all of her scenes in like a single day when nobody else was actually on set. It's one of the only explanations I could think of. The only, the only character she actually speaks with in the film is a ghost that never appears on screen. Some, it's just got a very strange vibe to it.
Again, as, as a child, you're like, you, it doesn't even cross your mind. As an adult, you're like, how do you have a character in the movie that doesn't interact with any other characters in the movie? Now, admittedly, maybe this is a little bit more of an, a, a, a film studies approach. I've been accused, as many people say, NL, you're, you're, you're not, look, you're punching down on this movie that probably made like $170 million at the U.S. box office. Maybe that's true, okay? I don't mean to insult Keenan Ivory Wayans. I would just like to know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to... I'd like to understand. That's I'm just trying to understand here, okay? And let's not even talk about the fact that some of the characters from this movie also were in Scary Movie 1. Like, how is Sean Wayans in Scary Movie 1? <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Revealed as uh, part of the the scheme to kill Cindy, and then in the next movie they're they're just chilling in their friends again. Not to mention in the first movie Brenda died, and yet she's back. What's what's up with that? Okay, we we by the way have not gotten a tears upgrade yet. I'm not sweating it, but I would say I'm I'm starting to get to the point where I could believe I'm beginning to sweat it. This would be a big floor. Um, I mean, like, what what we really want to see more than anything else, I guess, is, like, I mean, a tears upgrade, yes, but if we can get an Eddie room, great dodge. If we can get an Eddie room to pay us out with an angel deal, uh, we don't really care about the spirit arts, the money is better there, but uh, if we can get an Eddie room to pay us out with some angel deals, like, that could really give us any utility at all, I'd be, I'd be pretty stoked about that. Right now, uh, it's just our, our rate of fire and our damage are not in an adequate state to consider victory likely. However, things, things, life comes at you fast, man. We got another Eddie room. Swallowed Penny was like a 10 out of 10 get. We get like a nun's habit or something like that. We're starting to pop. You're, you're a slap in the face. I think maybe you'll generate flies. You'll just be like a crappy version of, of Rodden Baby or whatever. So th full HP, full HP, full HP, full HP. I feel blessed. I also feel like I got a lucky penny. You know what? Just leave it for the time being. Full HP, 33%. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that doesn't even freaking work, man. Full HP, I think. Troll bombs. Angel statue. Uh, pick, pick this up first. Angel statue. <clears throat> 30 cents. No, just spirit hearts. But I mean, like, at least it's something, right? And now we're, we're pretty much done with this. 61 cents. I mean, this is a, a beautiful deal with the devil or deal with the angel situation here. We got the money to afford to deal with the devil. And, we, you know, we need offense. But, I mean, I think that's an antiquated line of reasoning. Like, I think you can actually completely take advantage of... Uh, of a deal, or you can still get offensive items from a deal with the angel now. So I, I do appreciate there's options. Probably substantially increasing our odds of actually getting a, a tiers upgrade. Because it, it's not even like a product of our DPS, honestly. It's just that it's so... Like, not satisfying to shoot at a speed of 0 0.44. That's, that's the main inhibitor to... And I'm having a good time on the run, but that's... Because I feel like I'm, I'm using my, my puzzle brain, which, as we know, is uh, dubious at best. But I feel like I'm using my puzzle brain to, to get out ahead of this. You know, the brain that allowed me, not bragging, but to do uh, uh, just slightly below average. Just one standard deviation bef below the norm in a game like Baba Is You. I'm not a puzzle guy. Crossword puzzles, you know. I, I'm actually glad that... Uh, and I, I, don't, I don't think there's such a thing as the meta on Twitch, necessarily. and Which is, is going to get me in a lot of... Well, not a lot of hot water, but... You know, people who follow every bit of Twitch uh, culture and drama are like, Oh yeah, there's a meta. It's uh, ASMR licking uh, the, the microphone 
uh, in a hot tub in a bikini while also playing Final Fantasy XIV, which is a free trial up to level 80. And simultaneously playing Jump King while being live for 96 hours straight. While gambling pseudo-illegally. Um, okay, I mean, like, are there people on the website doing that and, you know, getting good numbers at it? Yeah. Uh, I've never done that, you know, in, in my life. I'm still doing okay. I'm playing some crossword puzzles. <laughs> and I feel like uh, crossword puzzles, I, I'm surprised at how watchable uh, people find them. Pleasantly surprised, by the way. Um, but on top of that, I'm also like... Don't hit me. It's been nice to have, like, a form of, uh, of puzzle that I'm actually good at. I never knew I was particularly strong at crosswords, but I, people have been watching, and I, I dare I toot my own horn, saying things like, uh, I was watching NL do the puzzle, doing it alongside him. He did it twice as fast as me while bantering. Ooh. Damn, baby. I can't do it that fast, but I know someone who can. Twister, got you looking up at the gliss on my hands and wrists while I'm laying back smoking on my cannabis. When it comes to rocking the rhythm like Marvin and Luther, I can tell you ain't no messing with Con Man and Twist. Okay, not dead. Not dead. Did you notice, by the way, that when we picked up uh, Squeezy, our rate of fire increased by 0.04? <laughs> it's uh, a bit sobering. I find myself modestly perturbed. But still feeling like we got a pretty realistic chance of, of getting through this run. I don't know. I mean, seven seals is nice. Our damage is, is still pretty bad, honestly. But uh, our, our when, when our shots hit, they do an okay job. Seven seals has the chance to, to really shine here, I think. I love Guppy's uh, eye just for enabling us not to waste time going into those rooms where maybe it's not that relevant. The Magician. I thought I saw it say that it's the Magician, and then it went, like, question mark right after that, but I was like, oh, maybe it's just, you know, my mind playing tricks on me, like the Ghetto Boys. It was not my mind playing tricks on me. I guess maybe that's how the, the game works, or the, the item description mod works. We've, we've seen a peek behind the curtain. It goes, hey, here's what the card is, then it, it checks and goes, oh, wait. <laughs> you shouldn't know that yet. Well, um, we definitely would. This is an interesting setup here. It's a card. So we know when to stop opening this. Oh, you know what? And we that's when we're going to stop. But appreciate the keys. Oh, nothing's in this. Uh, which means it's a teleport. If nothing's in it, it's a teleport. Okay, well, I think you might as well buy it just because we're already stuck here. Um, oh, let's use the key. Got a key. Um, like, we, we, we can't incept like a deal with the angel out of it. I'm gonna leave the room. Things are gonna get a little spooky, cause like we are getting mighty close. Not very smart. Uh, I think it's realistic that, you know, like I called this video uh, like two weeks ago, the longest boss fight ever. I'm hoping to see a path forward where we don't end up having to reuse that title. To, to phrase it as cheekily as possible. Because, I mean, we're, we're sitting at default damage. I don't know what our DPS is, and, and that's just the honest-to-goodness truth. I don't know what it is um, because of the fact that we uh, have more shots but a substantially lower rate of fire. Really, I think this is just the Seven Seals show. So, preferably, I don't know if there's a way to avoid getting a deal with the devil here. Even hurting ourselves, I don't think, does it. Um, but we would we would love to see no deal with the devil here to maximize our chance of getting that final deal with the devil. You might be interested, by the way. Sometimes I, I, I play better when I'm when I'm bantering. 
I, th I think when you focus on Isaac, you know, your tunnel vision, it, it, it's harder to get into that flow state when you're paying attention to it. Please, please. 0.06, you know, it's, it's an improvement. Just don't forget about the Fool card. Fool card, I'll be all right. I mean, that could be a Fool card. Might as well just take a look. Hanged Man grants flight for the current room. We kind of want Empress, like, long-term, but we can fly into the curse room, maybe. Um, how, how are NL's adventures in, in air frying going? Oh, man. Like, I can't remember if I, if I mentioned it uh, in an Isaac episode, but I, I mean, I, you might be sick of hearing about the air fryer. I apologize, but I've never had a kitchen device... Make it so easy to... And I, I feel like I'm in a, a Ron Popeil commercial for, like, you know, the fat-free uh, rotisserie grill machine or something like that. But it, it's the easiest machine in my life to ever make sides with, man. Cooked a, a, a delicious salmon filet last night for myself and my wife. Thought, what do I have to go alongside of this? Had some leftover fingerling potatoes. Slice them in half, put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 400. You got, like, I, 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 maybe I would stop shy of saying restaurant quality. I would say that restaurant quality depends on the quality of the restaurant. But delicious, hearty. I don't know, hearty is like a word you use when something is not good for you, but like it's good for your soul, right? <laughs> like when you, when you eat something that's uh, dripping in gravy, you say, it's hearty. We, we really, really, really want to see this deal with the angel here. I mean, I, th 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 you might take this as disingenuous, but I I'm a little worried kind of about the mom fight, just because this is really like the first time on any run where like things start to have a little bit of friction. Like prior to this, it, things are normally, you know, pretty safe, pretty samey. This appears to be going really well. If, albeit a bit slow, but really well. I'm, I'm begging you for this 67% angel deal chance. I, I, I'm out here using orbitals, man. I can't use orbitals on the beast fight, so I, I'm begging you for mercy. But Keeper, I mean, admittedly, we have Swallowed Penny, okay? So that's that's a big help. But Keeper now is is really good, huh? Like, two, uh, two HP is, is very difficult. Three HP is, like, ten, literally maybe ten times more survivable. Even though it doesn't seem like the math would bear that out. We got our deal with the devil. It doesn't really matter which of these you take. Um, does Abaddon just kill the keeper? Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be a neat trick? Converts all red containers into black hearts plus two black hearts. Repentance. Does Abaddon kill Keeper? Will instantly kill the character icon Keeper.png when picked up. That's really cool and fun. Um, I guess I'll pay 15 cents for two spooky. You might be upset with me, but I feel like I gotta, I gotta try. Okay, and uh, try not succeeded. <laughs> I really felt like we had to give it a chance there. If we die here, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd consider it merciful, but I, I do think it would save us from about uh, 10 minutes of annoyance. Or let's let's be realistic. Probably like twenty five minutes of annoyance, because I don't know uh, at this point how we're gonna get through this. We just have not picked up a substantial enough uh, amount of improvements to our DPS. Our defense is pretty solid. I mean, I guess a, a battery is is productive for us here. I mean, you know what would really hit the spot actually is like an ipecac. If you're already shooting, almost never, <laughs> an Ipecac would, would really hit the spot. 
So I, I don't know. This is like the Seven Seals show. I'm sure you're sick of hearing this, by the way, but it's just the way that time management's working out right now. Um, I uh, I have a podcast. I'm going on Gotham's podcast, Levy Rosman's podcast, to talk about chess content creation and and life. Um, in like. I don't know, like 20 minutes or something like this. So we'll, we'll probably, realistically, I see the writing on the wall in this run. We'll probably throw a pause in at some point soon. And uh, and then we'll come back once that's done. Um, This is like madness, right? You're, we've had so many... And uh, this is not even really a train wreck. I feel like I've skipped four out of the six item rooms that we've had so far. And then our other item room was Rainbow Baby, and then our other item room was Quad Shot. Deals with the Devil, we got Seven Seal, Two Spooky, Missing Page 2, like... We're, it's one of the... the least productive runs I think I've ever seen in my life. Now, admittedly, with... Like, what do we do? Do we not take Quad Shot, and as a result, we only take one item from our item rooms? Like... I don't know. It's, it's a tough situation to find yourself in. I don't even know what I'm fishing for here. I guess I'm doing this and I, I want to at least take a, a peep inside of here. It's literally just HP, which provides me with absolutely no value. I mean, I'm, I'm giving it my all here. You can leave the, the nickel on the ground. I'm, I'm making a bit of a mistake there for sure, but... I wouldn't mind a speed upgrade. You, you never mind a speed upgrade. Like Fred Durst's worst guitar solo ever. Never mind. You know what I'm talking about? Never mind. Well, I've decided that that's not worth the limited amount of time I have on planet Earth. I don't know if I've ever seen a run with so many item pedestals just, just left behind, man. Strength card. Plus 50% damage out of this? Serious? Yeah, plus 50% damage. Technically a little bit better, I guess, than plus 2.35 damage here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say. All I got to say is, hmm. Okay, well, get me out and, and work in, in the opposite direction here. I really, um, just, just genuinely, I guess maybe I'll try to do one more floor, but I don't really see how we're going to get ourselves out of this situation. Now, I got to remember, on this floor, you don't actually have to... I, I, I don't think I can. Because it's going to break one of our coins permanently, which is like a catastrophe, I think. Um, but otherwise, magic skin kind of interesting, for sure. Um, I, I think that we don't have to go to our item room on this floor. Because uh, the item room will appear to us once more. Nice Nice try. Once we go in the opposite direction. Once, once we start going up instead of down. Please. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm really relying on, on seven seals here. <laughs> like, really, really relying on seven seals. Uh, and you, you gotta take all this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I hope I don't sound too demoralized. It's, it's really just that, like, it... We have so, I mean, uh, this is a huge help. I know it's not going to be as much uh, of a rate of fire increase as I'd like, because we've got a, like a... Oh, actually, that was like a double rate of fire, man. I'm, I'm like a, a, a Gatling gun right now. Mr. Dolly, who knew? Okay. I'm, I'm not saying that, like, this has rejuvenated me completely, but I certainly feel like maybe I got a, a, a bit of a better chance. Hey, we found our item room anyway. Um... Double tapping a fire button to sneeze blood. I think that's worth just snagging. We don't even know what our other item was, but... At least we have, like, a... A little bit of a better option now. 
Still don't really want to get too close to enemies, but I mean, you can see for yourself. I feel like from a, a, a damage dealing standpoint, this is working out pretty well, albeit a bit spicy. So I don't think I left the trinket behind. And it's, you know, I, I know that we, I think we took Squeezy when uh, Marbles was available. I'm looking back and I'm like, man, even just to take Marbles, just to leave three trinkets on the ground and then have the chance to get like Inner Child, and by chance, I mean like 100% guarantee to get Inner Child, maybe would have been, in hindsight, a little bit more effective. But like, how are we to know that, you know? That's... No, no Isaac player on Earth is going to take that trade on average. Sure. I'm, I'm really just waiting on seven seals here, which is unfortunate. <laughs> yo, 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 thank you. We have so much sustain. I mean, uh, we're not going to get any real ability to spend money in the future. Wedge me back here. I think we'll we'll pick up Dad's note. We'll throw in a pause button, and then we'll, you know, come back with the renewed ability potentially, renewed uh, enthusiasm to try to make this work. I mean, it 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 might work just due to swallowed penny. It also um, might not, because <laughs> we need a lot of sustain to get around it. I'm mostly just kind of baffled. Uh, I guess it can happen, but and and hemoptesis or whatever it is is actually like a, a good item, even if uh, we're not exactly like blowing the doors off this run. I actually feel like pretty good about it. However, I am also like, man, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a run where like it was this. This many opportunities to get good things ended up being completely useless for us. But anyway, I'll, I'll see you when I see you. Be back in a minute. All right, we are back. And uh, I'm not optimistic about the state of this run. I also turned the music off. There we go. Um, but, but it could happen. Like, I remember where we were. <laughs> uh, you know what would really hit the spot on this run? You already... NL, please. If nobody got me, I know that... NL begging for mom's knife from uh, the chest on the mom fight or on, on the beast fight got me. There's your there's your meme of the day. But in all sincerity, how sick would it be if we got the chest from the beast uh, the mom's knife from the chest on the beast fight? You know what I'm saying? It would it would really tie the, the room together. Apart from that, I'm trying to think about like I mean, realistically, I, I'm I'm in denial right now, um, and all I'm hoping for is uh, I, good play. I guess I know it's going to be a long fight. I know it's not going to be super easy. The thing is, you might think I'm I'm you know belaboring the point, but I think swallowed penny as the keeper is not guaranteed to pay out. Help me, thank thank you iframes. Um, I don't think it's guaranteed to pay out. What a dodge. We don't we didn't need to be here, but that's okay. Um, and as a result, I mean even if it is guaranteed to pay out, depending on where we're at in the fight, like the coins are gonna fall, right? Um, or or they're gonna be tough to grab without like stepping on creep or something like that, but I I guess the point I'm trying to make is I don't think it's necessarily gonna be easy just because we got like the best trinket you could possibly get as the as the keeper that being said considering everything going on in this run i think we've done a reasonably good job our our rate of fire is no longer pure garbage it's merely like very regrettable um mom could you like could you just keep it down this whole drama with dad stuff like it just keeps it just keeps going man it's just getting exhausting at this point you know so I am I'm pessimistic and yet hopeful. You know, it's uh, perhaps a bizarre combination. Hemoptysis was uh, was an item that actually like I'm, I'm tapping the crap out of it here, but it it feels like that might give me some hopium. Not even copium, just genuine unfiltered uh, hopium. 
It's only copium once you have to cope. Right now, we're still hoping. Let's turn that C into an H, like the Montreal Canadiens jersey. We still got a couple of opportunities. Hey, you know, sometimes you're just walking back. Uh, or walking up, I guess. And you just find yourself living in a shotgun shack. I've, I've heard uh, tell that you could even, in some situations, find yourself in another part of the world. Legends tell of finding yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile and thinking to yourself, well, how did I get here? Getting mom's knife in the chest before the beast fight, letting the days go by. We've, I don't want that trinket, okay? I want stat gain. I can't, I can't benefit from a trinket because we can't get rid of Swallowed Penny in good conscience. Not to mention, like, Vibrant Bulb will last about 15 seconds until I have to, you know, press the space bar two times to try to preserve a little bit of HP. Caves 1? Caves 1? Basement 2! Hey, even better! Basement 2. I think this is where we got quad shot, isn't it? It's just a, a, a parade of so many, like, useless items. <laughs> it's so many, so many space bar items when we can't get rid of our space bar. Abaddon kills you dead as Blue Baby. Isn't that a funny joke? Like, lots lots of lots of dubious stuff on this run. And when I say dubious, I'm not referring to the ancient Greek stoner philosopher. We're gonna make it, man. We're at least we're at least gonna put up a fight. I think. Probably. I'm trying to think, like, do we get any value? We, we definitely don't, right? Like, out of the bed? Out of the invisible bed? Out of the freaky ghost bed? I don't think we get any benefit out of any of those beds. It's a terrible sign that Gish is taking us this long. You're- oh, frick, you're gonna turn me into an orbital user. You're gonna make me cyber- you're gonna make me get cyber bullied? Please. Gold- golden chest? Consisting of, uh, I don't even know, <laughs> magic mush. What cricket's head? Cricket's head, maybe. I was gonna say Max's head. That's how you know you you've been in the game a while. Okay, basement one. Basement one, and I'm out. I don't wish to fight two dingles. I already know it's gonna be a, a large time investment. I didn't take damage there. We really, I, I know, it's, okay, you know what? I know I said it wasn't copium. I'm realizing I was wrong. It's copium. Because I'm in my head right now, I'm going like, it's okay, we'll just get mom's knife. Anytime you find yourself saying something like that, I think you just got to acknowledge you're probably not in a good spot. <laughs> if your whole strategy revolves around getting mom's knife uh, and a few coins, then uh, I'm, I'm pessimistic. Resting does nothing for us. Uh, it's a lucky penny? Nope. Well. Dunk, dunk. That dunk. Mom's wig. Not what we're looking for. Alas, here we go. Okay, this is, it's all about seven seal. I'm not going to use uh, ripoff. What a ripoff. I'm not going to use the strength card. It should work better. Going up against uh, the horseman in particular. What a strategy we got going on here. <laughs> I can't believe it. What the? get this coin okay so that went like 10 times better than it ever should have but keep in mind we were able to sneeze at a stationary target that's not gonna work for us uh on beyblade real beyblade hours and this is where things are gonna slow right the heck down i don't want to use my coins yet I would like to step over, grab that, thank you. Oh man, I, I you're gonna laugh at me. After this, I gotta make a tweet. I mean, I feel like two spookies kind of like locking them in here. After this, I gotta make a tweet that I'm gonna be a little bit late to the stream.
Oh, come on. It's totally my fault, but come on. Don't, don't. Oh, you know what? We should use it once. That way we're going to get a charge back when this is over. This is what I was concerned about. Yeah, that was not the right way to handle that. I'm trying to think if I could just land a sneeze on you. But I, like, I got to make a tweet that I'm going to be 10 minutes late for stream. We're, we're going off here, man. Like, not going off like, like fireworks. I mean, we're going off like yogurt. <laughs> okay, once, once we get onto this phase, I'll, I'll pause it. Uh, okay, one, one moment, please. One moment. Do we have any consumables? No. All right, let, tweet real quick. Tweet. Running late to stream five to ten minutes. Sorry on a beast fight with starting damage and below starting tiers. That's not a lie, I think. Maybe you start with 0.72 tiers. I don't know. Either way, we finally have a statistical improvement. I hate to say it, right? But, like, I feel like we can't justify sneezing as much as I want to. Our HP is so precious to us that it's, like, it's scary, unfortunately. And it's gonna... It's not really gonna work itself out. It's the, the only... The, like, we have the most difficult muscle we have to flex here, which is our own patience. I do want... You know, maybe the, the, if the, the antidote for impatience is gratitude? What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, instead of being like, Oh, this is... This sucks. We can be like, Oh, you know what? Thank God we have seven seals. Thank God we had that strength card. Because were it not for those, like, this would be even worse. I don't really respect how you send the flies over to me, seven seals. Like, I, I'm not too upset about it, but hey, what's up? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is all falling apart? Maybe it's not. We, we took damage. We're going to have two plays of uh, the wooden nickel left over. Uh, eventually. We got some spiders down there. That's fair. I, I deserve that. I, I stood there and just ate it. I always forget that that's how that works. That's not smart. Dude, the, the amount of money we're getting back from Seven, uh, or from Swallowed Penny, though, is incredible. Use it. Just one t Look at that. Who would have thought it's actually, like, such a huge benefit to have a Swallowed Penny here? I mean, I, I knew that, but I thought the coins would fall. Instead, they're, they're flying, man. We got a double charge. So, like, we should be totally fine. I don't know. I'm, I, can I tell you, in all honesty, I'm like, I'm out of things to say. I'm a big uh, appreciator. The appreciator of this wave has logged on. Oh, come on. It, I no longer appreciate this wave. Saved. And we do... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we got it, we got it! Okay. Double charge? Double charge. So you're saying there's a chance. I see spiders wilding out at the bottom of the screen. Please run into the enemy. I am begging you. Seven seals is doing work. I still don't know how boss armor works for this, this boss, but we will now stand back. You gotta be careful, cause like the, the, well, by be careful, I mean like don't think that the fight is won before it's won. 
because this guy has a lot of HP, and as long as the horseman fight was, like, you really do run into situations where, like, the beast is, like, three times longer than all four of the horsemen put together. Help me. That's fine. We got it back via Swallow Penny. So this is just, like, it's, it's clear to me now. We essentially just had a run that was unkillable, huh? And I, I know I'm inviting some comedic timing by saying that, but, like, we're, we're basically just on a run that could not lose. Because if any run could have lost just by virtue of having low damage, it would be this one right here. That, with all that being said, I am begging you for a hitbox. Thank you, thank you. More? More? I'm, I, oh, dude, sneeze the bombs on him! G genius! Now I'm like, I, w I wish I'd kept- Oh no! I wish I'd kept all my bombs! Please. I, I'm just, I'm out, man. I'm just out of conversation. It's real dangerous considering I got a, a long stream coming up. Well, by my standards, but... I've exhausted my conversational muscles already. I'm not joking. Look, I'm, I'm just so happy I finally see that one of his horns has disappeared. We should only have seven or eight minutes left in this fight. Did, did a second one go down? I think he takes a... Oh my god. Is he dead? Is he dead? <laughs> what a strange run. Well, it just goes to show you, you know, the true power of Swallowed Penny, right? And, uh, I guess, uh, the battery helped us out quite a lot. But look at that, we did it. Hey, thanks for watching. What a strange one. I'll see you next time. See ya.